right, hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out. It is April, the day before Easter in Ohio, and our power went out in my neighborhood, and it goes out often. We, uh, all our power lines are buried in the ground, so it still confuses me. But anyways, I got a Weston House generator that I'm gonna fire up. And um, for the first time, there she is. I actually printed instructions for me to follow. that and this guy runs on um, gas and propane so I'm gonna go propane oh, a little bit in there I don't know how much Ben what's up buddy go to the back of the house All right, I'm just getting ready to power wash my uh, back deck my plugs right there that we put in there last summer so we're gonna see how this goes I'm gonna wheel this bad boy out I'm gonna do it while I'm recording just to see if I can do it for demonstration purposes I think this thing weighs a couple hundred pounds I make this turn here She's out. I just got to hook everything up and then uh, that feels like it's about half full. Let's see if it works. My neighbor's already got his out. We got word from the power company that it's not gonna come back on for five or six hours. And we got things to do because of uh, Easter tomorrow. Mama's gotta cook. And uh, yeah, this is my accessory bag here, which I forgot about. This has got my uh, power supply and got my uh, oh no, that bag already broke <laughs> the hookup for the propane this bag is junk There's the main power. There's the propane hookup. Kind of doing this by memory on hooking this thing up. Like I'm gonna have to put a wrench on this. Propane's just hand tighted. Ooh, spider. It's like your gas grill connection. So that's tight. I need to. This is a little twist on that wrench. Okay, next step is the main power cord. It's got this carrying handle here. Velcro. Oh, here comes the rain. So this gets plugged into the house. This gets connected to the generator. Uh, 
probably should have my helmet kit cam on. Now I, this part gets connected to the generator. This part gets connected to the house. Big-ass cord, I'll tell you that right now. Of course, I'm not going to be able to see that. I'm not going to have to move this thing. Now we're going to go to the basement. There's my uh, box. Breaker inner slack switch. So the main right there. Main off interlock system engaging. So power goes out. Main breaker switch interlock to 50 amp breaker. Turn off all breakers. Ooh. That one's off. That one is the one that I'm gonna have to turn on. So I'm gonna turn the oven off, air conditioning, water pump, dishwasher, sump. And it says to turn them all off. We're just turning everything off. Okay, everything's off. Start generator and flip on breaker on the generator. Go to basement and flip on all breakers except the stove and driver. So make general breakers off. So I need to go back upstairs. And then I gotta come back downstairs. Make sure generator breaker is off. Start turn. I don't know about six and seven. Make sure generator breaker is off. That's a breaker right there. Start generator and flip on breaker on generator. Nope. I don't think it's got a remote start right here. Remote start. It should start right up now. Turn my gas on. 
propane tank and hit the start light button. basement. I've been recording for 13 minutes. Star generator, flip breaker on, go to the basement and flip on all breakers except the stove and the dryer. So this is the main one right here that we installed for the uh, the generator outlet out there. So it's a 50 amp. So here we go. So that should be powering the house now once I start turning stuff on. I think this is the basement lights. Lighting. We don't want that. I can run the air conditioning. We want the water pump on. That's the main one. Kitchen. Nope, oh, that was a, you can hear the generator taking a little bit of I want my sump on. See if this light comes up. Oh, we got power in the basement. Dryer, no. I don't know what these ones are. That's the range. So we'll just go with that. So we got power. And that took me 14 minutes. 14 minutes. And we got power. Why well, I got the flashlight on. There we go. The main thing I was I've been worried about is the uh, um, my water since I'm on a well. My power goes out. We don't have any water. Oh, that's what's going on. Lights are on upstairs. My uh, electrician said I could basically run the entire house. Um, kind of recommended not using the stove because it's electric and the dryer. So I'm gonna turn my furnace off because it's warm today. So that's it. Again, hit the like and subscribe button. We'll go out here and look at the generator. Hit the like and subscribe if it helped you out. I'm running propane. I have not run gas in this and I don't intend to. Down to the basement. 
know what I'm saying? Breaker box. So I need to This is the inner lock. So I need to turn the 50 amp off. That's the one that's hooked up outside. Turn the inner lock off. And then hit the main. I don't know if I should, I don't need to bother. I'm turning all these off and on. I don't think that matters. And then turn the oven on. Oop, that's off. On, air conditioning, dishwasher, those are on. There it is. I can hear stuff going on upstairs. So we got power. All right. Uh, I am very excited that that worked. That was the first time that I've uh, actually had to use it. We tested it when we set it up. Again, hit the like and subscribe button if this video helps you out.